Hi everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome to my savings, budgeting, and YouTube journey. I am here to represent the hardworking, low-income, single parents. On this channel, I experiment with different budgeting styles, savings goals, and I share the strategies I learn as I go. So if that sounds interesting at all to you, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to follow my journey. Okay, so today i realize that we are about halfway through my first 12 week year so 12 week year is just a way to um just focus your goals instead of making goals for the whole year you make them for 12 weeks and you consider that your year helps you focus on your goals helps you to stay motivated and since it cuts down on the time you don't really have time to play games so i had 12 week year financial goals and i had 12 week year personal goals. So the 12 week year personal goals I have been tracking um, on my habit tracker and my happy planner. So those are videos you can watch if you're interested in. Um, but the financial goals is what most of you <laughs> are here for. So I wanted to since we're about halfway through probably a little bit more. I wanted to take a look and see where I am with my financial goals, make sure I'm on track and see if there's anything that I need to adjust. So let me show you my financial goals for this first quarter first and explain to you kind of how that works. So I showed this at the beginning of the year, but I want to show you again for those that are new or haven't seen that video. I will link the video as well. So these are my quarter one goals. So quarter one for me, of course, not for everybody. And honestly, I don't think it's exactly 12 weeks, but <laughs> the quarter for me runs from December 31st to April 9th. And that's because of the way that my paychecks run. April 9th is the end of the last paycheck that I get in March. So January, February, March is three months. The last paycheck will end um, April 9th before I get another paycheck on April 10th. So that's the end for me. So for the first quarter, I broke it down from my goals, how much I had existing before I started the year, and how much I was going to contribute to with my Always Fund. So if you want more about that, make sure you take a look at that video. Basically, it's just a fund that I contribute to every time that I get paid. So there's maybe 10 to $15 I put in those envelopes in that Always Fund every time that I get paid. So even if I don't have extra money, those are still going to get funds. That's why I call it the Always Fund. I'm always trying to contribute to it and then also I have a column here for YouTube so any YouTube income I want to make sure that a certain amount goes to these three every time that I get that income so every month um, as long as I meet the $100 minimum I get paid out a YouTube paycheck and I want to make sure I'm still being you know responsible with those funds and that these things that are important get some funds from that so, and then I put here in this column remaining. So what do I have to come up with out of my pocket? So either in uh, extra income from overtime or in uh, rollover. So just trying to be responsible with the money that I set aside for, you know, weekly expenses. So if I have money left over from one paycheck to the next, I'm going to try to contribute the, that extra to these goals here. So there was $745 that I need to come up with, with either overtime or rollover funds or whatever extra income that I have. So that is the outline for the goal. These are the always funds that are important to me. So these are funds that are outside of these goals that have always been in my always fund. So those are things I contribute to every time I get paid. And then I just added these four categories to be a part of my always fund. So these will also always get funds. This here is just how many paydays I got within this quarter, which was seven. So that's how I kind of did all the estimates and the breakdowns. So I could just kind of want to see where I am with um, my progress with these. So let me take a look and show you what we have existing and then we'll subtract that from our goals. All right, so let's start with the first one, which is home maintenance. Now, I haven't gone over these myself separately, so we're just going to kind of wing this together. Another reason I decided to do this is that I am going to be doing my budget for my income tax refund soon. So I kind of just want to see where I am with my goals because those are my priorities. So let's start with our first goal here, which was home maintenance. So we're going to, let's see mid year progress i just like to label stuff i this is totally not necessary but today is the 18th 
So we're about mid year, approximately. So let's start with number one, which was home maintenance. And these were in order of priority here on this list. So we're gonna start with home maintenance. That goal was $200. Let's see how much we have right now in the home maintenance savings challenge. Uh, let's see, home maintenance savings challenge. We now have $155 in there. Okay. So that was a balance of $45 that we have left. Let's see how much left that we need to put in our always fund. So we have from now to the end of the quarter, we have three paychecks left. So within those three paychecks, let's see, home maintenance should get $15 each paycheck. So 15 times three. So it should get $45. So boom, home maintenance is good to go. We're on track with home maintenance. We don't need to contribute anything extra to home maintenance uh, with our paychecks. So that is already on track to be done. Yay. Yay, confetti. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, the next one we had is my daughter's clothes. I call my daughter Pooh. Although I realize that kind of sounds like poop, but it's more like poo, like Winnie the Pooh <laughs> instead of poop. Okay, two, and that goal was $205. Let's see what we have in there now. There it is hers. We have 145. And I ended up um, today, I just went through and taped these on the outside. I was sick of getting it lost inside of there. So what did I say? 145 we have in there for her now. So let's see. So we have $60 left to go to her and let's see, that was $15. So also $45 is going to come from the always fund. So that means we need to put an extra $15 in there. So that means that's not done yet. Um, we need to find 15 more dollars somewhere to add that, add to that. Okay. The third, uh, let's see. Yeah. So the third is vacation. And that goal was to put $75 to it. And vacation now has... So I'm saving two ways for vacation. I'm saving... Actually, maybe it's three. Vacation I'm saving in here. I also did finished finally the succulent challenge, which was right here. This was something I basically started when I first started YouTube and doing savings challenges. I think this was like one of the first ones I started with. So I finally finished this. I think we fully funded it last pay period. So that will all also be transitioned into vacation eventually. But for this 12 week year, vacation needed $45 and it now has $35. So awesome. Vacation is on track. Oh no, it needed $75. I don't know why I said 45. <laughs> so 75 minus 35. $40 left. And then for vacation, we were also going to put, uh, let's see, $20 every time we get a YouTube paycheck. So we have two more YouTube paychecks left, which is $40. So that'll be perfect. So we're gonna, this will be with YouTube income, February and March. So vacation, good to go. Um, let's see what's next. Number four. Passports. Uh oh. Ugh, my handwriting is not neat. Sorry, that's just just you get what you pay for with me. One hundred and fifty dollars was the goal. Let's see what passports has. Passports has fifty dollars. Okay, so we need $100 for passports. And I think that's coming out of YouTube income. Yep, passports is only coming out of YouTube income. So we have two more paychecks for February and March. And that will be $100. So yay, passports is already on track. Now the fifth one. 
is birthdays goal was $350 and that is for both my birthday and her birthday we have a smaller birthday fund this year than we usually have just because we have trips planned this year and next year well not technically planned yet but the goal is to go on trips this year and next year so I didn't want this to be a big priority her birthday fund is $200 and mine is $150 for this year okay always fund was going to contribute well let's start with how much is in there first I know we finished hers so hers is fully funded uh so hers is fully funded let me show you that just for those of you that are new so hers is fully funded we have 200 dollars for her and right now there's 105 for me so that means total we put in 305 dollars so that should mean we have 45 We have $45 left that we need to contribute. And then let's see, birthdays is part of the Always Fund as well. So it's, it gets $15. So that's 15 times three more paychecks. That's $45. So yay, that's on track. Perfect. Next one is home goals. Home goals. Is $265. All right, let's see how much we have in home goals. So home goals right now, which I might have to rethink, is for a lawnmower. So I have a lawnmower right now, um, but it's like electric. It's plug-in and it's kind of annoying. So home goals has 155. So that's what this is for, but honestly, I've been thinking about it, and a couple of you have suggested to start using wholesale food grocery stores. I don't know what a food grocery store is, but wholesale grocery stores. I do have a BJ's membership, but I honestly just have it for the gas discount that I use, and it's amazing. It's worth it just for that, but mm, I might start thinking about it, but our freezer is so small. I don't know who decorated or our house is old, but... I don't know who thought of this, but the smallest rooms in the house are the most important ones, which to me are the bathroom and the kitchen. But my bedroom is huge, the living room is huge, and then there's two more rooms downstairs that I, I just don't know who thought of this. So if I decide to stay in this house, I would definitely knock down some walls and make those rooms bigger. But uh, that's neither here nor there. But um, So the point of that was, that I would like to get a deep freezer. That was the point of that. <laughs> All right, so existing is 155. That means we have 110 left. Let's see. Home goals is part of the always fund. Three more paychecks, $10 every time. That's $30. I think this is the one that I'm still going to need to work on. So we still need $80 left for that. So this one so far needs some money and this one needs some money home goes all right christmas is going to be one too i already know so christmas is number seven that goal was five hundred dollars and i think off the top of my head we have 110 left i mean in there yeah we have 110 in there i'm sure i could organize this another way but if you know me I don't do things in the right order okay $390 left for Christmas so that's a whopper but with my income tax hopefully yeah so we're definitely gonna have to rethink this with my income tax I'm definitely gonna contribute some but I won't probably contribute all of it so Christmas is definitely one we're gonna have to work on and you know why that got messed up was because of the succulent challenge. Unfortunately, the succulent challenge, I did not add into my goals, which was a huge mistake because it definitely threw me off. So I'm going to give myself some grace if we can't make Christmas in this quarter, but I'm definitely going to try my hardest. Number eight is car maintenance. So this was $500. It has $500 in there i know that because we already had that so that's zero that's good emergency fund had no goal for this 
pay period. I just wrote them all in here because um, they, they have goals for the other quarters. So that's why they're all in there. But let's see. Once I do my budget for my YouTube taxes, no, not YouTube taxes. Once I do my budget for my income tax, I will know more about where, um, what will need more money. So, so far, let me highlight this so that I can quickly look back. So far, we're going to need more for her clothes. We're going to need more for home goals and we're going to need more for Christmas. So what's that total? We're gonna need, whew. Surprise, motherfucker. $485, so total remaining is $485. That's a lot for three paychecks. So maybe we can contribute at least half with my income tax. So let's see what that would be. Just hypothetically, that would be $242, right? So that would leave us with $242 that I need to make either with a rollover. Yeah, so that would be what I need to figure out between three paychecks. So we'll see. I mean, I am doing overtime, but it takes like a month to get paid overtime. I did some overtime yesterday. I picked up like an extra job at the hospital that I can kind of just pick up shifts whenever I see that they're available. So I just did a couple hours of that yesterday and it was, and that was just a couple hours because I wanted to test to see how I liked it. I didn't want to commit to like a long shift and they're not always available in order. So it's kind of a just, I can pick it up when I can. But it takes a month to get that, so I probably won't even get that by, probably will get that with the last paycheck in March, which is cutting it close, and I don't like that, but we'll see. So, and then let's see, maybe I can contribute some more with my YouTube income. So her clothes, I'm not really worried about. I can find that in rollover, like definitely i'm not worried about that it's the home goals and christmas christmas really that i'm worried about all right so at least we know where we are and i know that i need to do some more yeah i need to pay attention a little bit more all right so that's really all that i wanted to show you so at least now i know where i stand and i know where i need to focus any extra funds i know where some youtube income and where my income taxes should go so that's why i wanted to do this first this is really quickly i just wanted to show you guys you know my thought process on how i uh, am managing these goals and how i plan out extra income there are definitely things that i prioritize for extra income so i'm not always the best at you know prioritizing things but i am trying to get better so this is why the 12 week year was a great plan so now i know kind of where to focus my energy instead of just putting everything everywhere all right so that's it for me today i just wanted to show you that to show you my progress and where we are kind of where my thought progress will process will be going forward on where i put you know sinking funds or extra money that i have in my payday budgets so that's all i wanted to show you today thanks so much for watching i want you to always remember it is about progression and not about perfection and we have progressed very well so far so thanks so much for watching i hope you have a great weekend and a great day happy saving bye mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.